Yep, what size is this? This is a 12 foot by 20 foot double lofted. This would be big enough for a shop. Yeah, it's pretty good size and the price isn't bad. These prices have come. I mean, this they don't put the plywood on the roofs. That's one thing, but that's fine. Uh, you know, it's got the metal roof. 24 on center studs, which I guess, you know, I'd rather have 16, but you pay for that. You know, if you want to get something that's going to still work, you can always add more studs and beef it up. But I don't really see the point in that. You can order them like that also. Yeah. I think this would be fine. I mean, it's, you know, they got some good floors in them. Um, they usually have warranties on the floor for water damage and stuff like that. That's another thing. But I mean, this is plenty big enough to put my saws out and hang some pegboard. Uh, yeah, I'd want to insulate it, but. Yeah. Guys, I might have to go with this build, a building like this instead of a carport. I don't know. They only had one carport. I can get a carport anytime. We got to do more shopping. Yeah, yeah we're gonna. <laughs> this, I'm not just gonna buy the first one I look at. But. All right, all right. This is uh, about the same as the one I looked at at the other place, but this is a Dirksen, and you can see it's 16 on center. It's very well built. It's got the. Uh, why can't I think of what that well, is? OSB. Yeah, OSB. It's got the OSB for roofing. Under the metal roofing. Under the metal. So it's a lot better built. It's got the straps. Look at this, man. This thing is, uh, and it's the same price. It's eight hundred dollars cheaper, but it's two foot less wide. But it's still plenty big for what I needed. It doesn't have a loft, which I don't care about no loft. It doesn't have a loft either. But this is uh, be a good sized workshop, I think. Got two windows. I can push some frilly curtains and such. Did that other one have? windows yeah yeah but that other one was like 24 on center yeah it didn't have the wood you know that's not good when they don't put the wood because you get condensation you can get a real hot day and especially if you're in here you put the air conditioner in i could put an air conditioner in it here it would cool this thing down in no time oh yeah and i'd probably go ahead and just finish it out you know put sheetrock or something that tongue and groove stuff that i put in my office would do good all right man jeff likes one but it reeks so bad you can't even stay in there it's not like it's in my, yeah it's not like if i get him to knock a grand off for the smell let's look at the outside of it that's the only thing i wonder if i can get it in a different color that is a nice looking building and guys i had an idea i don't need a carport if i get a shed like this i'll just come off of the building build my own or so i could pull right up in there maybe. yeah yeah well i like this one but i'm gonna see if they got any color options because that way i don't have, otherwise i just paint it There's no big deal to paint this It'd be very very easy all right, might have a building. And here's another style. It has the loss. It's 10 by 16. Yeah, four feet short. It's just a little, eh, I don't know, I'd be giving up some room there. But, it, I mean, it has that. But those get in the way. You know, if I'm handling two by fours or something, I don't oh, think yeah. I want those lofts. Oh, there. yeah. But uh, it's not a bad looking shit. I mean, they're... No, $200 difference. I like the size on the other one better. Yeah, I mean, this would be better for you. Maybe. Right. We're going to go talk to the people, maybe. Out of my price range. But. Yeah, I mean, Jeff's still shed shopping. We came back to this place here. Oh, man, would this be nice? What is this? A 10 by... 12 by 32. 12 by 32. Looks like a repo, yeah. Somebody had a toilet here. I think I remember watching somebody's video that looked at this very same shed. Who was that? Mike Chris, and Lissa. Yeah. Five. Yep, because I remember them, uh, they got the van in. And you ready, boy. I guess that's pretty strong stuff there. Yeah. Yep, just think poo went down there. 
Or they never, yeah. They never, they never got it installed. There's nothing. Uh, there's a ring around it. Well, yeah, maybe they did. Somebody poked in that. Now you can just poke straight down the hole. Yeah, better have good aim. All right, guys. I got. But the, these are nicely built. 16 yeah. on center. They got the double. Yeah, these are Dirksons. They're uh, they're the one of the best. Double studs every third. I think the only company that's probably better than Dirksen is Morton. And them are high dollar. Yeah, they are. But yeah, this one's built pretty nice. Got the extra rafters across there. You could easily finish this out. But Jeff hasn't bought one yet. I bought one. We're going to go see that in a minute. Didn't I? Yeah. It's going to be delivered next week, guys. And weather permitting. Yeah, it's here on the lot. The weather is supposed to be nice next week. Alrighty. Did I buy this one? That's the stinky one. That's one I was thinking about. Nope. That is not near big enough air. Yeah, that would cool that. Did I buy this one? No. That's nope. 10 by 16. That's the same size as yours. Did I buy this one? Oh, it's green. I did. I did buy this one. That exact same one. I can build a carport right off of this. Or here. And you got a discount for buying it off the lot yeah. instead of... Uh, this is my shed. This very one. We even got the windows cracked for it. Let's go on in. I'm going to make a little shop in here. Yes, sir. Got the OSB roof. I think I've already taken this clip, but we're taking it again. Well, you didn't know it. That's I mine. Know, I know. Now it's mine. That's aggravating. I'm going to put little hooks and chains on there. <clears throat> Good. It's wedged in there. There we go. Yeah, nice wide door. Yeah. Is that going to hit the windows? Yeah, there's nothing that could break it though. And it comes with two windows, see? No, That's cool. Yeah, I'm going to make some little hooks for it. But, guys, this is plenty big enough to do woodwork in. Like I said, I got the laser machine coming. I'll set it up in here. Uh, put, I'm gonna get the, uh, the styrofoam board that I've been putting up in the screen patio in here and then just probably pegboard. Pegboard the whole thing maybe? I don't know, that probably drive my eyes nuts. We'll see. Yeah. I can do a lot of things. And this, is, this is the LP smart side yeah, this walls. Stuff. This stuff's tough. Yeah. And there's a warranty on it. So if they're and same with the floor, they got a warranty on the floor. So if you do have problems, they're yeah. these are beefy. I mean, yeah. Look at this. Or, or, yeah, and look at the rafters are two by sixes and they've yeah. got the hurricane straps. Is that what those are? Yep. Well, joist holders. Yeah. But they don't have to put those in. Some places don't. So that's extra strength. And they got a screw in every one of them for a nail. So that's good. Yeah, these are this is gonna last. You already got vents on each side. Yep. And I can put an AC easily. You got in. windows. Yeah, probably just a 5,000 BTU would be good in here when it's insulated. So you are you gonna run an electric electric to oh, it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Be fully electric. See, there you go. And you can even get a little space heater for the winter. Yep. Just a little plug in. Just space a little heater. fireplace heater, probably. I mean, that's all I got for heat in my house. So, yep, yeah, this will be delivered, hopefully, she said, probably by the next week. Because all he's got to do is pick it up and. But we got to go and get some blocks. Yeah. And he's got to have had to buy any, has to buy some anyway. But now I got the hiccups. We just ate burgers at the Black Dog. They yeah, were good too. That was good. All right. Let's give him a tour of the outside of it. 
Yep. Walk around. <laughs> Well, I originally wanted a carport today, but I got to thinking, why not get a building? Because the prices are pretty good right now on these buildings. I'm surprised. Sorry for the wind, guys. And, uh, very good price on this. Yeah, yeah for not all that much more than a uh, good size carport. Yeah, I couldn't build it for that. Yeah. No. But I can make a carport off the side, either side or the back. I don't really know where I'm putting this yet. I'm going to wait till I get home and figure it out. But I can even paint it to match the house if I want to. But we'll see what it looks like. I've got enough paint left. I eh. like the shade of green. Yeah. Well, that goes with my roof. So well, yeah. I may just Maybe leave it alone. Paint the trim black. Yeah, could do that. I don't think it'll look too out of place. It has a different color roof. But See, they got the skids on there. Yeah, this did not come in all the choices of colors. Like this one. Oh, is this the one that's the same color as my house? Yeah, that one there on the end is. Or down there. That's the same color as my house. But that's not that's exactly what I have. The same size and it looks just like the one I have. All right, we're looking at another repo. Look at this window they put in here, guys. It's like this, you know, the storm door on your front door. That's all this is, and they just stuck it in there. Oh my God, is that horrible? That's the the person who bought this, not the manufacturer. Yeah. And then look at this fine craftsmanship here. This shelf, they just they didn't know how to notch the wood, so they just did that. <laughs> Oh, it had carpet. Is that like, that flooring? The flooring looks that way. That's the cheapest stuff you can buy. That's stick down, it looks like. See it bubbling up there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the cheapest flooring, which is all I would put in if I was going to put in a floor. Yeah. All right. And they even bent the van up there. <laughs> now you can get, what do they want on this one? 48, 4900. Oh, that's not worth it. No. That ain't worth 4800 all right all right and jeff wants that one there number eight but he doesn't want to pay for it until he knows the guy's going to be able to move his shed yep you want my business you got to take my business and the guy hasn't called him back so once the guy says he can do it that's probably going to be jeff's to well be... no because i'm looking at a new one. Oh, he wants like a new one metal one over there that's not new uh no it's a repo and it, I like it though. It's only a 10 by 16, and I'd like to get bigger. I'm still debating it, but uh, this one would be easier for me to finish out, yeah. insulate it, and all that stuff. But it'd be smaller. Is it in bad shape or good shape? No, it's in good shape. Yep, yeah, this one's a repo. Ah. See, I don't like the loss. Because that's work, getting up there. I mean, for if yeah. you're storing stuff that, like, totes or whatever, those that's good for that. But I I prefer this kind of loft over what I got on my other building. It's a full loft, and it has a hole here. That's where all the creatures live. Oh, yeah. I got a snake up there, but I want him up there. Yeah, and even putting totes up there would be a pain getting them, getting them down. Yeah, you got to have a ladder. Yeah. So, But you could easily take them out. Just pound the dang thing out. Yeah. Take, and you get a free piece of OSB. On both sides. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, as long as they got them. But I'd rather have a... I'd rather have a bigger one than a taller one. But this is a good deal on this one. So yeah, this I'm one's... Cool. Uh, they haven't destroyed it. It's, it doesn't stink. And it doesn't even really look like they used it. You know, dead cricket. He ain't bothering nobody. No. Protein. And then one thing we noticed about these Dirksons, they're not using low grade lumber. This is, it says right there, premium. They're using number one lumber in here. I can't go to my lumber store and get a two by four that good. So, but they're getting it. All right. 
I got a shed to set up, man, when it gets there. Take three. Uh, I put the bad battery in the GoPro and it went out on us again. So I don't even know what we were talking about. Yeah, we should just start over. Turkey track problems. Oh, I think we got that captured. Yeah, so, well, you never know. But turkey track was last weekend. And you got thousands of people coming into town. Hundreds of trailers fill up. But you go to the store to get, what were you looking for? Charcoal. Ah. They wiped it out. So there was one lonely bag left. And I bought it. And so I struggled trying to, I had two grills going yesterday if you watched the video. I didn't show the other grill because I was doing a product review, but it kept going out. You could not keep that stuff lit and I didn't have any charcoal fluid, but it's the instant light. You're not supposed to have it. Yeah, but the cheap kind yeah. did not work out. So I'm trying to do a product review with garbage charcoal. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, after I pulled them ribs off, that thing stayed at like 400 degrees till probably till I went to bed. I mean, it was hot all night long. So that is a very cool little grill. Yeah, you can cook a lot of stuff over a. Yeah. It's a small grill, but you over the time period it stays hot. And you can. I want to smoke a like a pork loin in there next. Mm. That's gonna be good. And you can control the temperature by the vents. You know, if you want a low, low temperature, you can pretty much close the vent off. Because I think smoking, you want to do it, I, I like to smoke things around 200, 200 to 250 degrees. Yeah, that ought to be good little They were smoker. out of drinking water yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, they clear out, they clear out the town when they, when they show up. Supposedly brings a lot of revenue. No, I bet it does. Cause, yeah, because the uh, Rock Cafe was all kinds of full. Yeah, because they tow their vehicles. Well, most of them bring their own vehicles. They'll tow it, or they'll have a golf cart. But a lot of them bring their vehicle and a golf cart. Yeah, I saw one going down the road. It's a you know, big old 4 by 4 truck pulling a camper with a golf cart trailer behind the camper. Yep. Yeah, I saw that yesterday. Yeah, there's, there's some of them people got some money. Yeah. Them RVs, man, there's half a million dollar RVs coming in there. Yeah, those big old luxury motor boats. Yeah, big diesel Cummins motors. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad they're gone. We're, yeah, always, mostly cleared out. we're always glad to see them leave. Two stragglers, but yeah, it probably brings a lot of economic activity to the town. And, yeah. But it's a pain in the butt for the locals. Yeah, those are good people that own it. They're actually, for 10 years, I thought they lived next to me, but they don't. They live way down from me, about three miles. But their son lives there. Maybe they did at one time, I don't know. Yeah. He's probably 35, I don't know, maybe a little older. Uh, it doesn't last that long. The thing is, they start getting here weeks ahead, some of them. Some of them will arrive a month before. Because camping in one of them there is only $10 a night. Well, that's a bargain. I mean, some of them people live in their RVs full time. So for $300 a month, they can stay there. You can go find no place for 300 a month. And uh, I think a lot of musicians uh, show up early, and then before the you know the festival, they get get around a campfire at night and do some picking and grinning. Picking. And picking, grinning. Picking. Picking and grinning. Picking and grinning. Picking and grinning. Picking and grinning. Yeah, go on. Uh, do a search on YouTube for Turkey Track Bluegrass. And you'll find some old concerts on there, and you know, the jam sessions, people sit around the campfire. They, they put all their stuff on Facebook. So yeah, they put that in a Facebook. Official, yeah. yeah. I don't think they'll play the music. I mean, they'll play where they're sitting around the campfire. Oh, this road is horrible. Yeah, it is. They need to be redone. Man. We are almost to Waldron in that terrible.
horrible stretch if the video recorded earlier. We're back on that. Is that your guy calling? that group text with all those yeah. females oh they drive you nuts I figured out how to get out of those oh yeah it's my friends that stopped by the other day from Mina uh, they sent me a picture of their chickens he gets pictures of chickens I do it's great you got a picture of waddles on your wall no, I need to get one though. Take the, take it down to Walmart and print you out a poster. He's got that silver duck wing feather color pattern. That's popular in the game. I birds. need to put a little cape on him. Be super wallets. Yeah. Where are you gonna go, O'Reilly's? Yeah. Gotta get some spark plugs. in there I mean it's when it's like 20 out it's like 55 in there that's dogs love that temperature I love that temperature. Yeah, I can sleep to that $2.99 for gas see we were just in Boonville what was it there 335 yeah. at one place 329 at another place so you got to pay attention to what the gas prices are here Wow just from Waldron to Boonville yeah. is 30 cent <laughs> 275 there 295 $2 still that's I mean that's still sky high because we remember I remember gas was at like a dollar for like the whole 80s dollar a gallon they have blocks right there dude yeah you can pay a fortune for them there too yeah no uh, we'll go to we'll go to we'll go get some Home tomorrow. Depot or Lowe's or somewhere All I don't right. know now Sims has a good price on them, but then you got yeah, they're they're not much. It ain't worth driving to Fort Smith. I was gonna say, although I do need you know like fifty of them. So I gotta figure out how many I need. All right, we're at O'Reilly's. We'll be back. All right, we're about six miles from home. I gotta take you out again tomorrow, don't I? Early He's tomorrow. taking his truck to the shop again. Yeah. The new Ooh. one this time. But uh, yeah, I'm getting it all set up. New new tires, getting oil change, get a tune up. Oh, you're uh, getting tires. Yep. And uh, I'm going to have them go ahead and do the timing belt while they're at it. So they'll, it'll be in there for a few days. Are you getting 10 plies? Uh, I haven't picked out the tires yet. I'll oh. do that. Because you got the same size tires I got, I think. We'll look when we get there. But uh, give me a 17-inch rims. No, yeah. give me a price on whatever you get. I was looking. They had some Cooper. They had two different uh, Cooper. Coopers are good, man. Yeah. That's one of the best tires made. Yeah. If not the best. 
remember I had a 72 Cutlass and I think it was Michelin used to have a tire if you ran over a nail it would seal up oh, yeah, Royal Seals those. they're called Royal Seals man you could not wear those tires out I bet, man, if they had that tire now, it would be $600 a piece. Well, I'm sure they do if they had that technology back then. Yeah, they might have outlawed it. Yeah. Uh, they were probably nice. filled with fix a flat. <laughs> but I never got a flat. Yeah, yeah, Michelin's are good. Cooper's are supposed to be good, too. That's yeah. what I've been reading, anyway. BF Goodrich makes a good tire. But they're high a dollar. I was yeah. looking at some of them on uh, Amazon. $554 a piece for the 10 plies. Nope. nope, I can't do yeah, that. I can't, no. But I'm gonna have to put them on this truck soon. And they're already wearing down, so I need to start thinking about that. Yeah, I think mine must be smaller than yours. Might be the same rim size, but. Yeah. Yeah, these tires ain't cheap. And yours is four-wheel drive, mine's only. Yeah. Now, if I had my other truck, it's got brand new tires on it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Brand new. They probably don't even have a hundred miles on. I don't buy used tires, man. I put brand new ones on because it don't make any sense for me to put used ones on and then a few months later I have to buy yeah, new ones anyway. I don't like changing tires anymore. No. Although you're set up now. I'm set you got down. everything in here you need to change the tire. Yeah, I got my impact in here. I got my sockets, my floor jack. So I can zip that tire off in no time now. Yeah. Yeah. I need to do that too. Start keeping. I've got an impact driver now. I need to get the things that will get the lug nuts. some of this film for when I get home so I can kind of pick out a spot where I have an idea where I'm going to put my new building yeah. but I need to look sometimes See, I was doing that I was measuring for a shed yesterday you get to do it uh, today went out looking for a carport but then I'm thinking I seen the prices on the buildings they're not bad at all yeah, you but Dirk's building for a little bit more than a carport yeah I mean I've been living without a carport for 10 years another year ain't gonna hurt me and you got to see the difference in construction quality yep. between uh, the other brand and, and the Dirksen. But I need I need another building now. And then when I take some of the tools out of the one that I already have, there's going to be less stuff in that shed. So that's going to help free up room. And I'm going to set it up like a little wood shop. So I'm tired of having to drag big tools out and have to set them up every time when they can just still be already plugged in and just go flip ready a switch. And uh, already under roof yep. so you don't have to worry about rain getting on them. And I can finally build a workbench. Something I've been needing. Get a big vise and uh, maybe a you know, all the little thing with the brushes that you go a wire wheel, a wheel thing. Yeah. Wheelie thingy. The and grinder temperature control it uh, some also. Yep. Get a grinder wheel. A little heater you can work in the winter. Put a TV. I got an extra TV now. Put one in there. Oh man cave. Yep. I have internet out there. Dog man cave. That's another reason I want that. Dog man cave is coming. No, nope. it ain't no she shed. No. Ro Rooster's not going in it. No, dog man cave. You would take it over. Alright guys. All right, I am back home. Now I needed to determine where I'm going to put this building I just bought. And I think the best spot I come up with is right here. Right here behind the house with the front doors facing this way. They're going to be loading it with the doors facing the driver's side of the truck. So 
he can drive all the way around here and drop the building right in here. Now it's kind of sloped here, but I'm going to get the uh, bricks, the blocks that'll go under there, the flat four inch ones, and we'll just raise up the front a little bit. It should be fine. Uh, the reason I want, I've chosen this spot is, uh, well, if that was ever to burn down, I don't want this very close to the house, and it could possibly catch this close, but, you know, I don't want a big old conglomerate of buildings here in one, you need to hush, I'm talking. The only other spot I thought of was right here, and that's just going to look too congested. And I've got water lines running across there. Hey, if I ever have to replace water lines, I don't want a building in the way. If there's ever a fire, I want to be able to drive all the way around the property. Uh, so the fire trucks can get around it. So right here is a perfect spot. Now electricity is close by, but here's my plan with that. I'm not going to run electricity to it. You know why? Because I've got four big portable power banks in the house. I can run all my tools off of those without having to put any wiring in the uh, shed. So that is, you need to be quiet. I know you get a milk bone after supper, but you gotta wait. They're mad at me because I've been gone all day. So for right now, I think this would be the best place to put it. <sighs> and I gotta move all those. No big deal. And uh, this would be a good location. Not a far walk from the house. Because it's, it's going to be a workshop. It's not going to be for storage. So, uh, I could even go back further if I wanted to. But I don't want a big long walk from the house. But even, even back in here wouldn't be bad. But I kind of want it hidden. You know what I mean? So the house would pretty much hide it. So I think right here is where we're going to where we're going to set it up. Good solid ground somewhat flat it's slope but it's flat so it's doable here i don't want to put it like back in you know i thought of maybe putting it there but i don't want to block my views and i don't like all the trees that are there so right here's a good spot i just got these trees i'm going to take those down anyway they're not going to be in the way uh, the building won't be in the way of taking them down are you happy now did you're eating an hour late that boy's complaining he's complaining he's wanting his milk bones he's over there peeing on stuff yeah he knows how to misbehave very windy today too so yeah man went out looking for carport and but when i seen the prices of the buildings i'm like i think i could go ahead and get a building now because i imagine they'll be going back up who knows so now is the time to buy that carport like i said of 10 years i haven't had one you better behave or i'm gonna close up your dog apartment yeah take your tv away you'll have to be sleeping in dog houses what do you think of that i'll bring you wally's old dog house in there for you uh, ow what am i standing on fire ants i bet ah i got lit got lit up telly all right, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Stay tuned, man. We got exciting things. Probably next week, I'll have the building here. And we'll get to work on uh, insulating it, setting it up. Yeah, man. Happy trails.